My next guest, though, has received his invitation to the coronation following incredible, an incredible fundraising achievement. It's wonderful. You know this fella. For three years, teenager Max Woosley slept every night in a tent. He's raised over three quarters of a million pounds for charity. Max is here in his tent pit. Come and join me over here. Oh. Let's get out the tent <clears throat> and That's come nice. and see me. It's so lovely to see you. Have a wee seat. Hello. It's great to see you. Gosh, you've stretched. <laughs> you must have been a close fit in that tent towards the end. Somehow the tent gives you growing pals, and we'll definitely <laughs> tell you that. You have, you have. Congratulations. Wonderful you've been invited to the coronation. That's really good. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks that's so going to be amazing, isn't it? Because obviously they've been following what you were doing. And I remember interviewing you away at the start of this. Because this was like just when the COVID had happened, wasn't it? It must have been, yeah. Yeah, it was. It, must have been it definitely just about was. Here. And this was all to do with your pal. Your pal who very sadly died, but was a great lad and said to you, seize the day, do things. And I think that's wonderful. I can't thank Rick enough for saying, giving me the 10 to the start and saying for me to have this adventure because yeah. look where this has got me now. I can't thank him enough. He was an incredible man and he was just an absolutely lovely person. He was. And you thought you were going to raise, what, about 100 quid? Not even that at the start. <laughs> I thought I'd raise about 60 pounds and mum and dad had to top it up. But somehow we've managed to raise... It's well over three quarters of a million. It's yeah. absolutely... Fantastic. Thank it really you. is. And where's all this money going to go to? So all the money's going to the North Devon Hospice and... Is that where he was? That's where Rick that's, was at the that's end? That's the hospice oh. that took care of him and his wife, actually. Oh, it's so lovely. It's great. Listen, we've got a wee message from the hospice because they love you. Let's have a little look. Thank you, Max! Thank you, Max, from us all here at North Devon Hospice. We can't thank you enough for all the hard work you did by sleeping in that tent. Thank you from all of our patients and relatives in the area. Thank you. Oh, they love you. They love you and well they might. Now, look, some people might think, hang on a second, sleeping in a tent, that's fine. We've all, you know, we've gone camping. Uh-uh. It was freezing, wasn't it? It was uh, freezing and boiling and uncomfortable. <laughs> there have been a, quite a few nights where it has been horrible weather, but you know what? All the money was going to such a good cause, I had to keep on going. You did. It was quite remarkable. Now, look... How is it now? Because you're very, you know, recently you had your first night sleeping in a bed for three years. Did you have the best sleep ever? Not at all. <laughs> Did you not? I miss the tent. I absolutely miss it. And of course, since I'm back in the house, I can hear my parents snoring again. So oh, I'm not getting right. I'm not getting the sleep I need. No, you're not. That's not so good. So do you end up sort of feeling like you've got to sleep on the floor? You know what? I might have to move back onto the floor because <laughs> honestly, I miss I miss the tent. Oh, it's great. And I know you've got the voice of Rick, your friend, in your, in your head telling you, well done. You've done this. You're still so, so young, but you've done this. You're going to the coronation. You know, you've had all sorts of honours and awards and all of that, very deservedly so. I don't imagine you're not going to do something else. I think there'll be something else up your sleeve. We want to do... I want, I want to try and do something else. Um, and I, I want to... I've, I was wondering, so I've been lucky enough to um, pitch my tent up at a few... Uh, rugby stadiums, Ooh. so it'd be amazing whenever we got the opportunity to maybe camp out in all the Premiership stadiums. Excellent idea. And try and raise money Excellent. for their local hospices, or just do something right. with the two things I love most, rugby and the outdoors. That would rugby be amazing to Fantastic. try and get organised. Whatever you do, it would be great. <laughs> Enjoy the coronation. Enjoy every single second of it, because you you deserve it. Thank you so much. Thank you, love. Thank you so much for coming in.